Hello, welcome to my third video of this series. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sophia and I'm an NYU drama student. In this video, you're gonna see a little change of scenery and that's because when I was filming my previous video, I realized I was actually making two videos in one. So I decided to split those into the one you saw last week and the one you're about to see right now. Today, I'm going to share my NYU audition story. I'm going to tell you everything that happened in my audition room back in 2021 so you know what to expect when it's your turn. Obviously, everybody's different, everybody has different experiences, so that's why I'm also bringing some special guests, some friends from my studio who will be sharing a little bit of their story and they're gonna give you tips and recommendations on how to nail your NYU audition. My audition was back in 2021 during the pandemic, and so it was online. In fact, I had COVID the day of my audition and I was in quarantine and my face looked like this. After I registered for the artistic review, they sent me an email with the Zoom link and a reminder to be early. When I first log in, I was so nervous. I was in this tiny room where I was being quarantined because I was the only one in my family who had COVID. And I was shaking so bad because I wanted this. I wanted to get into drama school. I remember seeing that all the cameras were turned off except this one lady, her name is Molly. I know her now because I work for her. And there were also two arts reps who are students from the drama department who come and help throughout the auditions. They were all really nice and they were sharing their stories about being an NYU student and how their auditions went. And then they sent us to separate Zoom call rooms for everyone to wait until their audition. You had to wait with your camera on. So while I was waiting, one of the arts reps came into my room. His name was Francisco. And we started talking. And then I was telling him that I'm afraid of being international and whatnot. And he was like, well, I'm Latin too. And I was like, oh, I'm from Venezuela. And he was like, oh, me too. And in that moment, I knew this was the place for me. NYU Tisch was meant to be. He made me feel so confident and so sure of myself and so stupid for thinking that having accents or my voice was a disadvantage because it wasn't. I will always be thankful for him. He left and I waited some more. I was still kind of nervous. Suddenly this lady pops up and she was like, hello. And we say hello. And she was like, whenever you're ready, do your two contemporary pieces. So I did my slate. I was like, hello, my name is Sophia Dow. And today I'll be performing two monologues, one from Wonder of the World by David Lindsay Abair, and a second one from Gruesome Playground Injuries by Rajiv Joseph. I did it and I forgot everything that happened. I started with my first monologue and then for my second one, she did stop me. She was like, okay, could you do it with a different intention? I, I'm not sure, I don't remember. I was not thinking about it too much, but she made me feel so safe and never diminished. I was confident in myself. After that, she sat me down. She was like, well, sit down from the other end of the screen. And she was like, let's have a talk. She asked me about my other interests, what I liked. And I said, I really liked directing because it's something that I really enjoy. And she was like, oh, have you written anything or directed anything during the pandemic? And I was like, no. And she was like, oh, okay. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> and she started asking me about my life and where I came from. So. I shared a little bit of my story and my culture and my country and she was very interested in that and we said goodbye. Then I was like, oh no, she didn't ask me about the studio system because I've heard from other students if they ask you about the studio system and which studio you prefer, that means you're gonna get in. 
So I saw one girl from NYU Tish Drama on Instagram and I DM'd her. I was like, hi, is this important? And she was like, don't even worry about that. I would just say you have to relax. Obviously, you're gonna get nervous still. I hate people when they tell me like, oh, just relax. I'm like, no, I'm gonna get nervous, you know? If you just show your true self and know that whatever happens, happens, you did your best, then it's gonna be better. You can just celebrate your achievements because getting there and performing in front of someone is already an achievement in itself. Hi, my name is Jessica Puto and one tip I have for your college audition is to select a monologue that really interests you and then work, work, work on it. Work to really have an understanding of it so you can be intentional about the choices that you're making. And if your evaluator asks you any questions about it or asks you to perform part again, you feel ready and secure in what you know. Uh, but you know what? At the end of the day, when you're ready to perform, know what you have to do and then let it go. I know that sounds contradictory, but it's important when you're there to have fun and trust that you have done the preparation and that you're ready to perform. Hi everyone, my name is Brandt. I am a classmate of Sophia's. I am also in the Meissner studio at NYU Tisch. Something very unexpected that happened at my audition was during the interview portion of my audition, the interviewer asked me a question along the lines of, what would you be doing if or what would you do if you can't act sing or perform anymore if you just if you didn't have that in your life anymore what would you do and i was thrown off i was like i'm only going to talk about performing i'm only going to talk about like this um part of me but they wanted to know what's outside of that. They wanted to hear about my other interests and my other hobbies and what I wanted to study. So as a tip, I would say to just bring yourself into the room and not just performer you, but who you are as a person because many of these people who are auditioning you, that's what they're looking for. The person behind a performer and what they're interested in and what they want to learn and how they want to grow and why they want to come to training. Why this specific training program? So now I want to talk about my reaction when I found out I got accepted to NYU Tisch Drama. So the day of my decision letter, we decided to go to the beach because I didn't want to stress about it. It was a really good day and I relaxed. By the time we were heading back home, it was around the time NYU was gonna post their decision letter. I knew this because I had previously checked NYU's Instagram page and they had posted about the decision letters coming around 5 and 6 p.m. In the car, I was trying to log in in the NYU portal to see if the decision letters had come out but I didn't have any service, so I had to borrow somebody else's phone. I borrow someone's phone, but as I'm trying to log in, I realize I forgot my password. Always remember your password, guys. As all of this was happening, the car we were in started to literally break down. It was overheating or something, and we had to pull over at every stop. It was really concerning, but I didn't care because I wanted to see my NYU decision letter. As I open it, the first thing I see is congratulations, and that's all I need. I stopped reading. I started crying because I was so proud of myself. I call my mom, I call my family, and all of a sudden, for some reason, the car was fixed. As we're heading back, my boyfriend starts playing the song in New York, and we play that on repeat. It was so exciting. I go home, I open my journal, and I see all of my manifestation pages. I was so convinced. I had written a hundred times, in this date, I'm going to get into NYU Tisch Drama for the class of 2025. And then I was like, I'm worth it. I can do it. It was so funny. I truly think that if you believe in yourself, you work hard, and you put a lot of effort then you just have to let the universe guide you where you should be. Before NYU, a lot of top drama schools rejected me and honestly, I felt very insecure and I started doubting my decision of applying to drama school. But as I pushed myself through it, I continued to work hard and rehearse. I realized that that was all I needed in order to achieve any goals I had. 
So that's my story on how I got into NYU. Thank you so much for watching my video. And as always, you can shoot me a DM at sophia.dao.